All right, I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be doing the... What am I doing again? I think it's the fighting one. I'm pretty sure. Because I think we've done every other category. 0% of me expects this to go well. Doesn't matter. We're going to do it anyway. We end up with the Oilers. Okay. Neat. I'm pretty sure I actually got them for one of the other ones. And was it the last two times that I predicted which draft position we were going to get and I was one off? Maybe I could do it again. Okay, let's say I get pick number 18. That's just, I don't know. We'll see what happens here. If I do it again, I'm going to be blown away. But there's no way I get it three times in a row. No shot. Come on now. Let's go here. Oh, no. Not even close that time. 30? Come on. I mean, I guess we are going by the fighting category. So it probably doesn't matter that much that we have a very... I might even pick a goalie first, depending on who's available for the fighting category, honestly. Is it even fighting? Is that even the category? No. What am I... What am I doing then? I've... Which one have I not done? Is it... Oh, well, this changes everything. People are probably going to see... I'm leaving this anyway. People are probably going to see the thumbnail and be like, what is this guy talking about? And then it finally, you know, a couple minutes in, come to the realization, oh, yeah, that's not a category. That's under physical. So, hey, well, anyways, let's do the sense draft, I guess. That sounds weird, but I'm taking Barkov. For some reason, I thought it was fighting because I... I thought there was another category that I just kept putting off, but I guess not. I don't know. That's where that came from, but I suppose that that is not reality. So, I believe we will have a very good team and lots of players to pick from. We don't gotta be worried. This will be a successful draft. I'm gonna take... Should I take Vladdy? I might take Tara Sank Show. Mm. Who else is available, actually? Let's see. Gensel? Maybe... Will Nye the Hockey Guy, Blake Wheeler, Pietrangelo. I'm gonna, mm, you know what? No, I am gonna take, mm, I feel like I take Tarasenko a lot though. I don't know, do I? So I can basically take from Pietrangelo and up. So maybe I should just bite the bullet here. Or like, what? can Barzell play wing maybe? Because I would like to take Barzell. I feel like I don't take him very often. I guess he's just center. I don't know. Where does it show if there are multiple positions again? I can't remember. Oh, it shows right there. So yeah, center slash right wing for Stamkos. And Goudreau is left wing. Okay, Tarasenko is a right wing. You know what, though? Let's take Stamkos. Put him on the right side. Screw it. That would be a nasty combination. We're combining the two Florida teams right now. Oh, wow. We're already down to four and a half. All the five stars are gone. I was not prepared for that, but... We are here now, and I am going to take Tara Vinen to have on the first line with our Florida folks. I should probably take a defenseman very soon, sunk, or should I maybe take a goalie? No, no, no. Let, let's, let's take a defenseman. Tori Krug seems pretty tempting. Okay, I've got to Pavelski here, so it's... Oh, Dougie! I could take Dougie. Pretty tempted to take Dougie, not gonna lie. That's a little biased, but uh, you know what? I'll take Tori Krug. All right, let's go. I'm going to grab Perron for the third, second, second line. <laughs> We're not at the third line already. I was going to say 86 for a third line to be impeccable. So yeah, let's pick up Perron as our second line left winger there because he's only making four mil and I kind of want to try and keep this within the cap. So. so we can take Burns or Yandel and I might have to take the Sonk man. I mean, he is an offensive defenseman. We already have one of those. So he's probably going to be on the second pair anyway for chemistry's sake, but I am going to pick up Keith, and I suppose next I will take a goalie, or we'll see who's available, but I'm probably going to take a goalie soon. Oh, wow. I should have taken a goalie already. <laughs> oh, no. This is not good. Hank has let me down several times. Holpe, I'm not going to trust him. Not going to trust Murray, really. Bernier, Pekka Rene, Devin Dubnik, Oh, no. We are in a pickle, folks. I took Cam Talbot, or I actually picked him up, I think, in my Yahoo League, and he's been doing all right. That has absolutely no effect as to how he's going to play in this game, but, you know, it's how I'm making my pick anyway. So there you go, Cam Talbot. So we have three players left with the four and a half senses. We've got Phil the Thrill, Pavelski, and Getzlav. So I guess I will take Pavelski. I feel like we might be stuck with all of them, though, unless... We go and start drafting defensemen and just hope that one of them gets taken. But I wouldn't mind taking Getzlav, actually. His contract, kind of ridiculous. But, I mean, 
he is a good second line centerman for us. 8.2. All right, well, let's take him. Is Phil gone? Oh, he is. Okay, so we're down to four star now. Nice. That's good. That's great. I mean, I could just take a third line centerman in Jumbo Joe right now, or I could take Howla because I feel like I take Jumbo Joe a lot. Howla would be a little change up, and I know if my friend ends up watching this, he'll be pretty happy that I end up taking Howla. So let's let's see. What do we got here? Russ is a two-way forward. I know two-way forwards are apparently not the route to go so maybe i'll try and avoid that orlov is he he's probably an offensive defenseman two-way okay interesting i am going to take howla just for that 1.7 that is going to definitely help with trying to stay within the cap didn't this guy get like a hat trick in his first game or something with the chicago blackhawks i'm not in like 100 percent sure it was this guy but i'm like 99 percent sure now i'm second guessing myself as to whether or not i even got a hat trick i'm pretty sure he did though i don't know i'd have to look it up where are my defensive defensemen at though that's the real question here oh okay i'm getting a little nervous now actually let's take to foil let's get some third line scoring because we really are not in the best shape when it comes to defense and goaltending so we're gonna have to try and just outscore the other team. I can't pick Lundqvist, man. I want to so bad, but he has just let me down too many times. The Smith. Have I given him a shot before? I can't really remember him letting me down, so let's give him a try. We only have two defense. That is very not good. <laughs> That's not good at all. Well, I don't know, man. I'm kind of... I Staying in the cap's going to be nearly impossible. Yarn Crook, $2 million. Left wing sniper. He's... Nope, I can't take him. He's got three and a half senses so i've basically got between uh suitor goligoski stasny zook and jumbo and i am going to take suitor actually sutter i don't know which one it is it's one of the two the main reason i went for him is because he doubles as a left winger so he can be a centerman or a left winger which is you know i guess good for us it has more possibilities there and on top of that I was thinking of taking Jumbo Joe because if we put him on the left side, but Jumbo Joe is only a centerman, right? And he is only making 700k, which I mean is not an only, but I mean considering the NHL, yeah, that's not a lot. I mean, I don't know. I don't know who I want to take. Maybe we could go to defenseman, but we still have to take Goligoski then. So let's just get Goligoski off the board. So I'm trying to do some quick maths here. And I think I need three more forwards and three more defensemen. And we've only got 12 million bucks. So once again, that's not an only. But in this situation, it's an only. We've only got four defensemen to pick from here. And none of them are super cheap. We've got Demirs, who please be a defensive defenseman. Two-way. What about... He's probably two-way as well. Okay, I don't know if we're going to get a defensive defenseman here. And no, there's not even the option. Okay, well... I... Uh, He's not making much more, really. Let's just go with Martinez. So basically, yeah, it's going to have to be Zook or Jumbo here, but I'm going to try... Well, let's let's take Joe, just because that contract is very, very small. So that's going to help us big time. And then, yeah, we, we just need two more forwards, two more defensemen now. We don't have a lot of caps, so we might go slightly over, but at least we kept it close... <laughs> Actually, never mind. We're going to go pretty far over anyway. Oh, maybe not. Demirs is the only one left with three and a half stars. So let's take him. So that's our second to last defenseman. We only need one more D guy. And then we need two more forwards. So Zuccarello is still there. Hopefully we can try and avoid him by taking another defenseman. But I mean, if he's still there next round, we don't really have a choice. So let's go here. We got a bunch of choices here. I want a defensive defenseman, so let's find one of them. Kempney and Ian Cole, both defensive defensemen, and Kempney's a year younger, making a mil less. So let's take him in this situation. What's going on? The game, like, glitched there pretty bad, but whatever. So we basically need two more forwards, and then we are done. How much money we got? One mil. Okay, we're definitely going over. And on top of that, we have to take Stasny. How did I not see him before? Was I sorting by the wrong category? Oh, I'm sorting my puck skills right now. Senses. Let's see. Yeah, well, either way, it's still Stasny. I don't know. I've probably screwed up somewhere along the line. But we have to take Stasny. Another centerman. Definitely going to be looking for... A can he play wing? <laughs> take another centerman. He can. Jason Spezza can play the wing. And he's making league men. He's good. 
It's got the three and a half senses. All right, let's just do it. I can always tell when I take the last player for the roster because for some reason at round 20, the simulation for the draft takes way longer in that round. Time to simulate the entire draft. Even the picks we already made. We just simulated the whole thing. We redid it. So there's the team. I'm not going to make any assumptions yet. I kind of want to see what it looks like and what our chemistry is before I give an estimate. But my initial sort of feeling for this team is we'll probably be like I want to say finishing 12th in the league something like that you know like just above average all right moment of truth folks let's see what we have here I did not draft Ellie so that's gonna have to change I love that minus one that's awesome I'm actually just gonna send down everyone that I didn't draft hopefully I can do that and then I'm gonna best lines it and just see what the game presents us with okay at least we can get zeros everywhere what's our defense look like yeah that's not good man and then in net we've got Talbot and we've got the Smith so I'm a little worried now. All right, I kind of messed with the defense here a little bit too. We got 0-1-0, which is the best I could find. We've got 1-1-0-0, which is the best I could find. I was able to actually get plus one there, but then that would be a dash three. Not willing to take that risk. And then in net, we've got Talbot and DeSmith. So I'm, I think I'm going to stick with my initial prediction of slightly above average. I'll say Stamkos gets the most points with 83. Mm, no, you know what? No, we're not getting... Well, that is a pretty offensive line. Yeah, I'll go with 85 for Stamkos, and he gets the most points. I'll say that we finish with 43, 44 wins. I guess I got to pick an exact number, so I'll go with 44. DVR already getting canned from the Avalanche. That's a rough go. Well, at a little rest stop here, we are 25, 20, and 5. So, uh, so far we are slightly above average, I would imagine. Yeah, we're, well, in our division, we're slightly below average, actually, but that's can change and hopefully will also i'm pretty sure a hockey game is about to start i think it's tampa and detroit if i'm not mistaken i love when there's hockey during the day the game starts at noon so 12 eastern time it's great stuff all right let's see who's available at the trade deadline i don't know why it's just fun to go in and see who's open wow ovechkin with the pens bennington looks pretty nervous to me tatar we've got Braden holpe jordan stall patty horns We've got Larson, Kreider, Grice, and Stepan. Okay. Well then. I'm not making any trades. Just checking. Ovechkin got moved to Vancouver for Merkley and a first. Okay. Interesting. I accidentally simulated one playoff game, but we got 42 wins on the year, and yeah, we're in the playoffs, obviously. I just said I simulated one of the games. So let's see where we finished in our division. We got fourth right there with 42, 31, and 9. If we check the entire league... Where did we finish? Edmonton are currently at position number 12. All right. So, pretty good season, I would say, actually. And Stamkos with 85. Wow. Look at that. I'm pretty sure that's what I guessed, right? Anyway, neat. Okay. Barkov, 76. Pavelski, 62. Perron, 58. Krug, 51. Okay, so we did have some performances here good job guys good job and we've got a 50 50 split of games basically here 906 265 and a 900 298 so DeSmith played better did anybody do completely miserable Jason Demers Demers whatever it is he went dash 14 and we also got Getzlaff up there with dash 13 Jumbo with dash 10 come on guys I suppose we can have a quick peek at the league leaders as well just to see who dominated this time around we've got Giroux with 108 I was actually kind of close to drafting him too I looked at his name and I was tempted but didn't and I feel like I got close to drafting Barzell too but Hurdle with 100 Kucherov 92 Hull 92 McDubstep with 90 Timo with 89 Matthews 87 all right interesting what about tendies the chicken tendies what do we got back here Bishop 41 dubs, a 912, 273, Allmark, 924, 237. Goalies did pretty good this year. On that note, let's just, you know, blast through the playoffs here and see which round we get eliminated in, because we are not winning the cup. Will it be round one, or can we go on a bit of a run here? Let's see. That's a good start. That's a very good start, but the reverse sweep is very possible. No, it's not. Here we go. We're on to round number two. And we are going to be up against the Dallas Stars. And that is a sweep. Good for you, Dallas. Good for you. And the Stars went on to win the cup. So they had themselves a run. They also swept us, which is unfortunate. But 
It is what it is. C'est la vie. Well, let's see who Dallas had on their squad. I'm assuming we probably went past one of them on the top page there. And no, we didn't. They had Malkin, O'Reilly, Ehlers. They got Palat, Drewen, Jared McCann. Did all right, but he went dash 18. Dash 23 for Kapanen. What the heck is that? Dash 22 for Felino. 15 for Kulikov. Are you joking? They must have a good goalie, right? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. Well, let's look at the awards here. So the presidents went to the Sens and the, yeah, Stanley Cup went to Dallas. So current be a pro team, former be a pro team. Look at that. Coincidence? I think not. Giroux with the Art Ross. Barzell gets the Hart Memorial. James Norris goes to EK65 Hurdle with the Bing. Calder goes to Kirill the Thrill. Con Smythe to Malkin. Olmark with the Vesna. Jennings goes to Jari. Zadorov takes home the Masterton. Jack Adams goes to Boisclair. I hope I was close. Frank J. Selke goes to Bergeron. The Lindsay goes to Barzell. And the Maurice Rocky Richard goes to Austin Matthews. Here be the playoff tree if anybody is interested in such a thing. So Dallas swept us, but then they had two best of sevens there that really took them to the edge. But they still managed to get through it. So that's a well-earned cup for the stars. All right, well, thanks for watching, everyone. If you could leave a like, that would be great. If you could subscribe as well, that'd be even greater. And I will be seeing you in the probably fairly near future.